Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Old Barn Homestead channel. It's been a few days since I made a video on this channel, so I thought I would make one and um, just talk about a few things real quick. My goal is to keep these videos to about three minutes, no longer. A lot of my videos on this channel, I just talk and talk and talk. So in the interest of that, uh, let, me, uh, let me get going here. Uh, a couple of jobs, a little American flag. I think this one's going to Iowa or somewhere. And uh, this one turned out really nice. Um, I've uh, continued to just, you know, try to get as good as I can with the finishes. And the one thing Shut Your Face Garage mentioned in a video a while back, and I wasn't doing that, and I always tack everything before I start, but what I wasn't doing was tacking between coats of candy. And that's made a big, big difference in the final finish. And uh, you can see there's very minimal uh, trash in there and I can fog this clear on so wet you can see one of the problems I get occasionally is I'll get something like that right there where the candy is going on so wet um, in certain areas where the you know the bends of the flag it'll just sort of sag a little bit you don't see it as a sag in the clear but you can tell it has sag because of that you know what I what I just showed you there but uh, a little blurriness where it wanted to kind of sag but overall I mean when you look at it it looks good um, this is a failed one here. I'm going to turn this into a Ford sign and sell it at a deep, deep discount. That other one I made on video, a lot of people ask about that. That was a $700 uh, sign with the LEDs and the thick aluminum and, and all. So this one's probably going to be somewhere in the 250, 300. It's 48 inches wide. Uh, it does have a candy paint job on it, but there's a few flaws in it. Namely, my plasma cut on the edge gouged in right here and I had to kind of do a little cleanup. You can see how it's not you know it doesn't make a full oval like that edge does there but honestly i think it's still going to look pretty decent paint job's kind of okay on it but um anyway um i painted those yesterday and you see i got paint mess i got to clean up out here this morning uh what i'm working on right now a lot of people have asked about this i'm making a video on this and it'll come out tomorrow morning from my other channel uh for the ramsey customs channel with uh how to get this but i'm actually going to make one today and so I'll have some Amazon links on how to get, how to buy that. If you just want to buy it or if you want to make one, um, you know, I'm, I'm working on cutting out some just scrap aluminum pieces that I had laying around um, to do that. So anyway, guys, you can see I got kind of a mess in here. Um, that's just how it goes. I'm going to, you know, like I said, I'm going to try to keep my videos uh, really short. Uh, I think they just get way too long and so rather than every few days make a 20 minute video just rambling rambling i'll probably make two or three a week on this channel just kind of showing you real quick what i'm working on and um i work seven days a week there's not a day that goes by that i'm not out here working but a lot of the stuff i do is just you know filling orders um like this week ego mouse design wanted some stuff cut out of quarter inch plate these uh uh he's working on this uh shark fin project and man i spent jacked around with that for a while and then i had <clears throat> i was gonna make four flags with that one that i made and i got one good one out of it and i started having problems with the plasma table i was just doing a bunch of weird stuff and come to find out i had installed some video screen capture software on the operational computer that runs the table uh, so I could capture videos, you know, vi uh, show screen captures of the software. And it just it looks a lot nicer than going up and holding a camera on the screen like this, trying to show you something, if I can actually capture the screen. The Mac has built-in capture software, and it works really good, and it's integrated into the operating system, but Windows doesn't have that. So, you know, Camtasia is the kind of the brand leader, uh, in that software and it works good but i didn't have the money to to buy that so i downloaded some open source stuff which the software worked really good but i believe it was it's got a background task that's running that's interfering with the plasma so anyway guys uh even though i said i'm gonna try to keep these to three minutes uh i'm already here almost five minutes long rambling on but anyway i'm gonna uninstall that software and see if that helps my my issue with the with the plasma 
cutter up until that point up until i installed that this thing ran beautifully so it does have have to be that is the issue i'll have to come up with another solution for that so hope everybody's doing good and uh look for the videos on this i'm going to make a, an aluminum one of these tig props like that adjustable height one and if you want that that's a lab jack you can get them on amazon but again i'm gonna have another little video showing it with some links in it to the amazon some different ones that you can get they're about 20 bucks on amazon but i thought you know it'd be make a cool video to make one and i do need a little smaller one that's a little more lightweight so i thought i'd make one out of aluminum